a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Bedecker, age 40. Mr. Walter Bedecker, age 44. Afraid of the funk. Death, disease, other people, germs, draft, and everything else. He has one interest in life, and that's Walter Bedecker. One preoccupation, the life and well-being of Walter Bedecker. One abiding concern about society, that if Walter Bedecker should die, how will it survive without him? How bad is it? Oh, it isn't bad at all. Matter of fact, it's quite good. You mean to tell me that I'm sick only in my mind? That is my considered opinion. I'll call tomorrow, Mr. Pettigrew. Oh, don't bother to do that. Just uh, come right over with the death certificate. You can sign it right here. Oh, Walter. Oh, no, stop those crocodile tears. Oh, she'd love to see me gone. I can't cry I'm for a man to live such a short span of years. Why can't a man live a decent number of years? 200, 300. Why not 500, 600? Yes, or 1,000. Oh, what a miserable thing to contemplate. A handful of years and then an eternity down under the ground in a casket in the cold, cold ground. Who are you? Cadwallader is my name. How'd you get in here? I've been here for some time. I'll make it brief, Mr. Bedeker. You look like a man with a nose for a bargain, so I'd like to make you a proposition. We each have something the other wants, and that seems a relatively solid basis for a bargain. And what do you have that could possibly interest me? Many things. And what do I have that could remotely interest you? Actually, a minor item. And this little item that you want in return. What do we call that? A soul? <laughs> You're the devil. At your service. You deed to me your so-called soul, and in exchange I give you immortality. And then, indestructibility. No hidden clauses. I'll just live as long as I want to live. Is that it? That is it. What about my appearance? You should look practically the same. However, there is one thing. It's simply that if you ever get tired of living, you can exercise this escape clause by calling upon me to uh, furnish your demise. At which point I shall see to it that you are given a rapid and uncomplicated departure. thrill and 14 accidents it's dull i'm bored with it i swear he's cheated me what's the good of it there isn't any kicks any excitement you know what i think i'll do i think i'll go up on the roof and i'll jump down the light well just for the excitement of it you out of my way oh, oh, please, 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 please leave me alone oh, Police station, could you come over here right away, please? No, 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 no trouble. I just killed my wife. Well, I'll stay right here. Goodbye. <sighs> now, let's give the electric chair a little whirl. The court sentences you to imprisonment in the state penitentiary without hope of parole for the rest of your natural life. Life. 
life in prison. About that escape clause. You care to utilize it now? You look like a man having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Benneker, is that you? You all right? Hey, Dale, call a doc. Benneker just dropped dead. There's a saying every man is put on earth, condemned to die. Time and method of execution unknown. Perhaps this is as it should be. Case in point, Walter Bedecker, lately deceased. A little man with such a yen to live. Beaten by the devil, by his own boredom, and by the scheme of things in this, the Twilight Zone.